what is going on today guys we are back for another episode in the leaderboard event now we got another triple clean out to do today so we're going to get cracking right away on it and we're going to start with the nugget trap buckets um, everything's kind of in a in a cluster here because of how the slope is up here but i'm i know which buckets are which so or at least i think i do we will find out here very shortly though yeah, that's Nugget Trap. Uh, this is Nugget Trap, and so is that other one there. And those should be the mats over there. Which, I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty good clean out. But, I have a feeling a little bit of it's not going to be. Uh, I haven't been mining off the overburden to get rid of it. So, I'm just running it as is. Now, not exactly the best idea. But... There's not a whole lot on there, so I figure I can get away with it. Uh, especially here, where there's not so much of it. Now, when we do move over to the Nighthawk claim, that's definitely got to be... That's definitely got to be removed, because there's a lot of it on there. Um, some places, a lot worse than others. But, anyway. Let's hope we have another really good clean out here. Uh, had the... What are they called? the Glacier Creek Springs. Those went out while I was actually right before I was dumping my last load in before this clean out. So we're going to take a look at, at part durability here after we're done running this stuff before we go and take our gold in. I want to see um, how the parts are looking and see what we're going to need to replace here shortly. So while we're in town and we have the money we can just go ahead and buy the parts a little bit cheaper. The springs for it were not very expensive at all. Um, I think 45000 for both springs. I just replaced both. I think there's only two. Um, but I replaced both when I did the one just so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, but I want to check out like the, the conveyor hopper and the actual conveyor itself and see how those are doing and see if we're going to need the parts for them here because i'm pretty sure uh it shouldn't be the fan going out on the on the hopper itself yet but the buckets and is it just the buckets on i honestly can't remember what's what's on the what's on the hopper thing I cannot, I cannot. Another thing we're doing today is we're going to hook up the Magnetite trailer and we're going to bring it on back home. Um, we don't need it at the facility anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to just keep it here and once it's full, we'll take it and dump it and sell it off at, at once. Uh, no more running buckets back and forth and we've got all the upgrades done now, so there's no need for that anymore. But it shouldn't take us long to fill that up. Uh, probably before winter we should have a full trailer of it or if not it should be very close I would I would definitely bank on us having at least one full trailer load before we go to the the motel for the end of the season though I would bank on that for sure I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure because I can I can pop out three clean out today uh, no problem I mean sometimes if you got like breakdowns and stuff with no mechanics, then it takes a little bit longer because of swapping the parts in and out. But overall, I, sh I should be able to clear three clean outs a day, uh, every day, no problem. So I don't see why that would be a problem because at three clean outs, we're probably going to get, you know, I don't know, I'll say 14% of a trailer, maybe a, maybe a little bit less. Maybe we'll just call it 13%. Uh, we'll, ha we'll actually see when we're done with this clean out exactly how much we got. Um, and that'll tell us about how quick it's going to go. So I don't think we'll have two trailers full. I think that'd be a little bit ambitious. But who knows? It might be possible. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, though. But I'm pretty sure one trailer will be an easy, easily achieved thing. So we should make that happen. That'll give us what? I'll call it a roughly extra 400,000 
dollars going into winter to buy out some new equipment. So that'll be great. A little bit less rent to pay. So yeah, I'm just going to call it 14% per day. Um, and we still got nine more days. Well, I'll call it eight. So yeah, we should easily have a trailer load. So it looks like this clean out's a little bit better than the last one. Uh, we started out with, what, 18 ounces? So overall, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Jesus Christ, big snow jam just fell. That was freaking loud. Holy crap. That scared the hell out of me. Man, I don't know if you guys heard that. But holy shit. Wow. That was freaking nuts. That was loud as hell. Shook the freaking place. That was one hell of a ice and snow jam that just fell off. Just freaking shook the whole place when that thing hit. Holy crap. Well, that's interesting. Um, anyway, I guess let's get to checking out these parts here and figuring out the durability. So we still got over half durability on that yet. Um, buckets. 30%. We could pick the buckets up if we absolutely wanted to here. Um, I think I'll have to get this other one from this side here. If I can. Ah, we'll just go on to the next one. Why won't it reach it? Alright, I guess I gotta get up in there. Let's check out the, the fan here. Or the belt, rather. 61%. That's good for quite a while yet. Um, that won't need to be replaced for we're quite a bit here yet. Um, should be this. Oh, this one here. That's why I couldn't reach it. 34%. Um, 22. I think we can survive another clean out before we even need to buy any more parts. Um, pretty much everything on here, these buckets included, will last probably, I don't know, I'd say six clean outs, maybe five. So we should be good on that for a while yet. Um, no new workers have applied. I'm kind of a little bit, a little bit worried about that, to be honest. Um, I was honestly expecting to have another one by now, but then again, I guess it hasn't been that long. So um, let's pop over to the truck here, and I think we need to. Nope, it, it is unhooked. So. Let's pull this on up over and we're going to refuel it and head off into town now. So this cleanout looks to be about 570 ounces, which means it's 190 ounce average, which is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Well, okay. It's about what we were... Now, this confuses me. It's 190 ounce average, but we were getting 190 ounces out of the base setup. So... I'm kind of confused by by the numbers with this, to be perfectly honest. I, it doesn't really doesn't really make much sense to me why we're only getting that much, in, and it could be because we're not on any like super tiles like we were on the Nighthawk claim as well. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But anyway, guys, I'll meet you guys at the blacksmith here in just a minute. All right, guys, so I recovered from my heart attack after that ice jam fell off. Oh, my God, that was that was nuts. The, I, don't know, I don't know who got scared more, me or the cats, because, man, the cats just absolutely freaking went nuts. It was, it was quite funny. Uh, you had to have seen it. But anyway, we're going to be smelting down our percentage of the gold today. So it's basically 40% uh, of 570. So we need to leave 228 ounces for, uh, for our lease payment. So that means we're just going to smelt down a full bar and everything else is just going to stay there. Uh, it's going to give us like 40 extra. So, you know, I could stay there. I'm only going to do one bar. I don't think it's worth the time to smelt down just 40 ounces. It's not like we're hard up for cash. We're not going into winter to buy 
to buy up our equipment or anything like that. So money is not of huge importance. I mean, we're only shelling out just under 140000 a day for rental and workers. So it's not horrible right now. Um, again, I say it's not horrible, but 140000 is a decent chunk of change. Um, I still cringe every time it comes out. It's like, ugh. 40% of our gold plus 140,000, that's just like, somebody shoot me. No, it's not that bad, but uh, you kind of get used to it, I guess, um, or as used to it as you can get. Uh, so gold is 120, or 1222, so nice old payday here. Cat's sitting in my way. <laughs> after, after that ice jam flew off like that and shook the place the cat's now sitting up by the tv guys that's going to conclude this episode i'm going to go get the magnetite trailer and head on back with that uh next episode we will be doing another clean out and we'll possibly be putting in some new parts uh, i am going to put actually i think i'm not even going to worry about reinforced parts we're going to be we're going to be getting rid of a bunch of equipment anyway because we'll be going into winter soon enough. So I don't think I'm even going to bother with reinforced parts this time around. Uh, I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to put regular parts in for now. And once we buy the equipment, then we'll worry about reinforced parts. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate all your guys' support and everything like that. Uh, all your guys' subs and likes, uh, they, all, they all go noticed. Don't think none of you guys are going unnoticed. Um... I really do appreciate all the support. It's a big help to the channel. Uh, makes me feel good about making the video. So please keep it up. I really love it. So again, thank you guys so much for all that. And we'll catch you guys for the next episode.